millions of years in Africa, an evolutionary race has been played out in the grasslands, woodlands and deserts of this great continent. The price of failure in this race is extinction. As one species disappears, so a more versatile one takes its place. As the continent has changed, the more adaptable species have survived, and those that could not adapt perished. And keeping in check the numbers of animals are the carnivores, the predators, and they too have run their own evolutionary race. One of the winners of this race seems at first glance a most unlikely candidate when compared to its competitors. It is difficult to understand how the spotted hyena, Crocuta Crocuta, has held its own in the often savage competitive world of the predators. The lion is fast and strong. Its great speed and strength give it an advantage over large prey. The leopard hunts alone. The ultimate stalker pouncer, capturing medium to small size prey. The cheetah, fastest of all cats, is rated one of the most successful of all predators. The wild dogs, small and lithe, by their cooperative hunting techniques and great stamina, are also extremely efficient. In the lakes and rivers, the Nile crocodile performs the role of both hunter and scavenger. It is in this illustrious company that the hyena lives and competes so successfully. In fact, of the land predators, the hyena is considered to be second only to the lion. At 180 pounds, it dominates leopard, cheetah and wild dog. How does it achieve such a high status? It has neither the strength of the lion or the speed of the cheetah. It has no claws like the cats and is unable to climb like the leopard. It has none of the streamlined athletic appearances of its fellow competitors. How then does this shuffling bear-like animal compete with the best? The answer lies in its intelligence and adaptability, its opportunism. In fact, it has been called the great opportunist. <laughs>